Welcome, everyone. Today I'm going to take on a spoiler-free book review on Dean Koontz's Fear Nothing. This book is full of mystery and conspiracies. As it opens up, we meet Christopher Snow. Christopher Snow is a man that suffers from a condition referred to as XP. Snow is very damaged by sunlight and other artificial sources of light, so he dwells in the night. He's a night owl in Moonlight Bay, California. Moonlight Bay has an abandoned military base, or seemingly abandoned, and it's at the heart of this novel. As this book opens up, Christopher Snow has reason to believe that his father's death may be some kind of conspiracy. And as he follows this and he investigates, he finds out a whole lot about his father and his mother that worked at Fort Wyvern and some of the scientific experiments that happened there in the past. This is a novel full of mystery. There's a great cast of characters here. We have Christopher Snow, his dog Orson, who is really extraordinarily intelligent, and that has some things to do, perhaps, with the experimentation that took place in the past at Fort Wyvern. We meet Bobby, Christopher's friend, a really hippie-like personality. You know, one of the real hallmarks of this book is the genuine and believable nature of the characters. Bobby, Sasha, his girlfriend, who is a radio DJ. The, all of these, the, these friends are just very realistic, and the dialogue in this book is authentic. I really like the characters and the interactions in this book. This book is filled with mystery. As Christopher investigates this abandoned military base, he comes to believe that there could have been some very strange and unusual experimentations going on in this Fort Wyvern, this abandoned military base. And his mother was a scientist there. And I'm not going to go any further into the abandoned military base because I don't want to give any spoilers away about what may or may not have been happening at that abandoned base. This book is just gold. You know, I read this book about 20 years ago. And I couldn't clearly remember the plot, so I did a reread on this book. It's the third book I've reread in my life, and I absolutely enjoyed it. I was really, really happy to be back in Moonlight Bay to go on this journey with Christopher Snow. There's murder, there's mystery, there's weird scientific happenings in this book. The animals in this book in Moonlight Bay are extraordinary. And if you would like to find out why, you'll have to read the book. But I loved this book. You know, I, I have been somewhat critical of Dean Koontz's novels, but with this one, he really hits a home run. This is the first installment in what is perceived to be a trilogy. Uh, Koontz wrote the second book that I'm currently reading, watch out for that review, which is the same cast of characters in the same city. And there is supposed to be a third installment, which is... Uh, Ride the Night. I can't remember what the name of that one is. Something about a storm, but this book introduces us to characters and some really strange happening. You know, this is one of Dean Koontz's hallmarks, that he writes this strange paranormal element into his novels, and that is definitely true in Fear Nothing. This is the best book that I have ever read by Dean Koontz, and it's one of the better novels that I have ever read. I give this book a five-star review. There are themes in this book. Friendship is a big theme. You know, Bobby Holloway and Christopher and Sasha are really good friends, and they're kind of outcasts. Another theme in this book is the surfing community. Uh, it's kind of cool that these friends are surfers, and Christopher Snow has to surf at night because of his medical condition. And this book primarily takes place in the twilight hours of Moonlight Bay. And I can't, I just can't impress enough upon you, because I can't go into the spoilers in this book, how action-packed this book is. There's so much going on here, and I'm really looking forward to finishing the second novel and reviewing it. And, and, and I don't want to deter you from reading this book, because it's part of a trilogy that hasn't been finished. We've been waiting on the third book 
for I think over 20 years in this Moonlight Bay trilogy. But this one's really fun to read, even as just a standalone. You know, there are some things that have been left open at the end of the book. But there's enough conclusion, I think, that you could enjoy this book without even going any further into the trilogy, the supposed, the awaited trilogy by Dean Koontz. Fear nothing. I give this book a five-star review, and I very highly recommend this book.